Hello everyone. This dive is a dive I did on Stetson Bank, part of the uh, Flower Gardens uh, Banks National Marine Sanctuary in the Gulf of Mexico. It's around 80 miles off of the coast of Freeport uh, in Texas uh, and uh, around 70 feet deep or so. And an absolutely fabulous dive on a very rocky part of the undersea, um, which means that it is packed with life. Just we saw, we saw hundreds and hundreds of fish very close together. They all hang out together. Uh, and so uh, we've got to see really close up uh, a bunch of eels and uh, dozens and dozens of other fish. It was, it was, it was wonderful. A little challenging to get down uh, because there was a bit of a current on the surface, which made it a bit of effort, but it was, uh, it was, it was lovely uh, at the bottom. So um, with that, let's jump in. And so begins this uh, dive on Stetson Bank here in the Gulf of Mexico. Quite the current, as you might be able to tell. I swam rapidly to this line. You can see everyone clinging on for dear life pretty much on this. It was a lot of work. Then a bit further down, it was a hard swim uh, down this, this line uh, to the bottom there. It was... Uh, it was very tiring. I was uh, pulling myself and finning very hard to get down there. But meanwhile, while I do that, where am I? Uh, we're at uh, Stetson Bank. You can see it uh, in ocean relief right there, sticking up in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico. Quite small, but protected, as we'll see, we'll see why in a bit. Uh, some 80 miles or so off of the uh, Gulf, uh, off of Freeport here in Texas. And this is where we started uh, the previous day. Let's zoom in a little bit here in Freeport. You can actually see the uh, boat, the MV Fling, right there. Uh, we left. Okay, quick check 69 feet, four minutes into the dive. And there's our first visitor of the dive, just uh, a few minutes later, a queen angelfish. Saw a few of these. In fact, we saw a lot of fish, and they're just uh, over the uh, the ridge right here. We'll admire him first. Uh, that lion right there is a temporary reel laid by the dive masters prior to the dive to help us navigate to uh, a good spot. Right on the, the edge, quite a, a, a small area. Uh, disappearing into the deep, uh, a wall, as it were. Lots of life there. And, uh, so we're going to go over these uh, these uh, rocky ridges first, and then uh, following the line, an enemy's right there, an angelfish, and then a bit further along, again heading towards the wall the very edge where the uh, rocks drop off into the deep. Some spot fin butterfly fish up ahead. Briefly saw a French angelfish there on the right. We'll get another view of uh, some more of those. And there's the uh, the end of the reel we were following with the, uh, the wall dropping off to the right down to hundreds of feet down there below. This dive, though, didn't get deeper than 76 feet, although it could have got deeper, as we see. On the right there, but uh, hanging here on the edge. Oh, a lot of fish right there. We'll come back and say hello to them in a minute. But meanwhile, let's see who we have hanging about down below. When I first saw these, I thought they were sharks, but uh, upon closer inspection, they are not. They're greater amberjacks circling down below and you can see the shelf dropping away down there. A lot of life down there, chose not to go down there because there was so much uh, at this depth. Around 60, 70 feet or so right here. So swimming back over this rocky formation to see who's hanging about. Now this uh, area, Stetson Bank, is unique in that uh, there's no there's gray snapper is uh, what all those are. So there's there are a lot of these guys hanging about and they weren't too afraid if I moved slowly. So I was uh, able to get quite a good look at uh, look at these. So 
a lot of the gray snapper, a lot of creole fish uh, as well. We'll see lots of those. But meanwhile, also a rock hind, two of them, in fact. Yeah, this, uh, this area is uh, great for viewing the wildlife because um, they, they like it, they hang out, but there's no, not few places for them to hide. Meanwhile, let's get a closer look at this rock hind, because he's adorable. I mean, look at that face. He doesn't like the look of mine, apparently, so he's headed off, but there's... Yeah, uh, more grey snapper, even some with the bar over the eye right there, like those two. Some without. And that rock hind again, wondering why I'm getting so close to him, I expect. Creole fish on the right there. We'll get some a closer look at some of those a bit later. Another rock hind. Perhaps the same one. Still curiously fitting about. But uh, yeah, this um, coral reef here, but uh, very uh, bare, a moon-like um, area of the Gulf of Mexico. And in fact, the Flower Garden Banks Sanctuary itself is also a protected area uh, some ways away from west flower garden banks and east flower garden banks which is where i had dived uh, earlier than in this morning i'd uh, the same day this is uh, five o'clock in the evening and so i'd got a couple of dives in on east flower garden banks some distance away in the morning and then uh, over lunch we uh, came over here. A very beautiful French angelfish there, briefly. Another one up ahead. A uh, long spine squirrel fish there on the left. I think we'll get another view of him. Some creole fish. There's a creole fish. So much life. It's almost uh, you know, hard to choose whom to get close to, but I spotted down there on the right, can you see him? A spotted moray. He's not the only one. We saw some others later, but uh, got quite close to him. Meanwhile, you can see there was just abundant life here. It was absolutely wonderful. Too many species to count, really. Those are the creole fish, Fred. So with their white spots on. More grey snapper on the left there. The big eyes. It's grey snapper on the right. Still curious. And those are creole fish mostly on the right there. I was sad to see the line in the mouth of this uh, gray snapper there. I wanted to help him. There's some creole fish. Lots and lots of those hanging about. Look a little reddish in my light, but they're not. There's another squirrel fish on the right there. You can see the spots on those creole fish quite well there. Yeah, a little cooler here. It was uh, around 76 degrees at the bottom, so I was once again wearing my dry suit. Very glad of it as well. And uh, a little darker because uh, later, later in the day, towards the end of the day, it was the penultimate dive of the day. It was a, a night dive after this one, but uh, I didn't do that particular dive. The, uh, the current put me off. I, was tired, so I didn't, I didn't enjoy the current coming down at all. It was hand over hand being pulled down, so uh, not everyone did the night dive. Although it is legendary um, because of all this life, there is so much life here. So I may have missed out, but nonetheless. Queen angelfish there, another one. As well as uh, there's so many species, I just yeah. Couldn't count them all. That, that's a creole fish again. You can see a little closer there with the white spots. 
and here's another spotted moray hanging out in a crevice not looking too pleased to see me try to get my camera quite close to him uh, a GoPro 11 incidentally Set to 4K, or actually UHD in 60 frames a second. It's a 10 bit color, so uh, watch on your TV for the fullest effect. Just to get quite a good view of him, I think. life because it's a protected area like I was saying part of the Flower Garden Banks National Marine Preserve so no commercial fishing uh, line fishing is allowed no commercial fishing no spear fishing either so most of the life gets left alone uh, a shorter dive this one usually 45 minutes or so is what we'd hope, but the effort of fighting the current uh, on the way down consumed a lot of air. Started off with 3,000 psi as per normal, uh, but it was down to 2,500 psi before I even got to the bottom. Um, and so this was only a 30, only, only a 35 minute dive uh, or so. Plus, it was uh, getting dark by the time the, uh, you can see it getting steadily gloomier. Squirrelfish. I think that's a long spined squirrelfish, that one, because of the spines on his back. Sticking up. Easier to spot them because fewer places here in Stetson Bank for them to hide, which is one of the things that makes it just an absolutely wonderful dive because it's so much easier to see and get, get close to, to all the life that lives here. Often see mores here. I've seen two so far, so one more coming up. Seven to nine feet, which is about as deep as we got. Well, actually, I got down to ninety feet on this dive, so a little lower down the wall. Breathing. Nitrox once again, mix, mix of uh, air with additional oxygen added, 29% on this dive. Allowed me to extend my dive times with a repeated dive uh, that we had on this trip, which like I was saying was, uh, came aboard the MV Fling. It was a three day trip out of Freeport, leaving on f a Friday night over the long weekend um, of uh, Memorial Day. In May, in May 2023 and uh, we boarded around 7 p.m. left around 9 p.m. traveled overnight to the West Flower Garden Banks area and spent the whole of the Saturday five dives including a night dive diving that area and then East Flower Garden Banks uh, on the Saturday morning including a rig dive before moving on to Stetson uh, at the end of the second day where we got uh, this dive in and the night dive afterwards. The third day, uh, Monday, we also stayed, so we moored up uh, overnight right here, here at Stetson, and did two more dives uh, the next day in the morning. There's a third spotted moray hanging out Again, able 
able to get nice and close to him. Easier to do so with the, the rocky outcrops uh, here on Stetson. A curious Creole fish there, wondering what the spotted moray is up to by looks of things. See another fellow diver in the background there, around 30 of us uh, on, this, on the, uh, this trip. So the boat was full, but there was enough space for all of us. Bermuda chubs flying past right there. Saw them briefly earlier. There are a number about. Lots of creole fish there. You can see the moon like rocky. Uh, shape of the undersea right here very stark and dramatic looking rock formation lots of uh, valleys and troughs my buddy ken who's awesome hanging close to me as usual so uh, uh, following the line you can just see it up ahead um, Back towards the reel, uh, 1400 psi, 20 minutes in. So, time to wander back in the general direction of where the uh, line started, which is the boy we moored up on. So, interesting outcrop here to ascend. You can see the the lights, the, the colors were very pretty in my, in my light. Hard to see them from a distance, but with the help of my uh, wrist-mounted light, it was much easier to see. And uh, quite necessary, really, actually, this time of day. Uh, it's quite gloomy being later, yeah, nearly 6 p.m. by this time. A number of other divers hanging around over here. the lion and the uh, the boy permanently moored so a blue tang two of them in fact hanging out and that was most of the life we uh, we saw on this dive this is heading back up clinging for dear life onto the rope uh, as we ascended uh, you know, safety stop it was it was rough well thanks very much for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe